guys, Andrew Edwards here from Gear Live, and uh, we just wanted to give you guys a look at um, iOS 4.1. Um, this will be generally available, I'm assuming, uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday of this week. And just to show you, there it is, version 4.1, 8B117. That is the version we're running. So um, let's just jump in and get started. Uh, first of all, there's a lot of bug fixes in this uh, release. The proximity sensor, which was a, a big one for a lot of people, including myself, has been fixed. Um, I haven't hung up on anybody or muted them with my face since installing uh, 4.1, the Golden Master. Um, what else? Bluetooth has been fixed as well. Um, but let's get into some of the features. Okay, one of the big ones people are, have been waiting for and have been talking about is Game Center. Um, Game Center is pretty much the Xbox Live, if you will, of uh, iOS. And so basically developers are going to be able to hook into Game Center, create achievement, goals that you need to accomplish. And here you can see no friend requests, no games yet because... Game Center integration hasn't been officially released. No friends. Um, I did have a bunch of friends, but um, Apple just reset Game Center uh, this morning. So I actually had to go in and recreate my account and all that. So definitely things are close. So that's Game Center. Nothing much to show there, but it is uh, in this release. The thing people are excited about is uh, finally being able to upload HD video from the device. So let's go in and just take a quick do a quick video just to show so there we go taking some video high definition done and there you go we can email it MMS it but now we can uh, send it to mobile me or YouTube and if you choose YouTube for example you get to choose now standard definition or high definition um, as long as you're on Wi-Fi which we are you're able to do so, and I believe you can do the same with Mobile Me. Yes, standard definition or high definition, and Mobile Me even defaulted to the HD version. If you're on 3G, you won't have the HD option, but it is nice to be able to actually upload the HD directly from your iPhone versus having to sync to a computer first before you can do so. So that's HD video uploading. All right, let's go into FaceTime for a minute. Let's see, I go into myself here. You can see FaceTime. Those are the options. You can FaceTime through any email address or through a phone number. So email or phone. The other thing is actually you can also add someone to your face. So I can add to favorites here myself and it will let me actually choose. Let's say I want to do my phone number. Do I want to add the favorite to be a voice call or just default straight to FaceTime? Okay, we also get landscape camera controls in this release. So pretty much turn the camera landscape you'll see that uh, there on those two areas things have changed and if I tap on it actually let me go into the photography versus video if I tap on it now the uh, zoom bar is at the bottom and the HDR option is actually right there as well so everything is gone landscape if I turn it it'll go back to portrait Okay, so since we're already in the camera app, let's talk about uh, HDR photography for just a moment. You can turn it off and on just by hitting that button right there on the screen. It's on by default, and basically what it does is, rather than taking one photo, it takes three quick photos, um, one normal, one oversaturated, one undersaturated, and it kind of combines the three um, with the intent being to kind of bring out everything in your photo. So let's see if I can kind of go into the camera roll here and choose a scene here. So, let me see if you can see that. So basically, what we've got here is a playground area with a sky. The sky is pretty white and washed out. Um, but if you go to the next area, the next one, exact same photo. This is the HDR version. So you can see more of the sky. You can see kind of the sun in the background and the clouds. Uh, more of detail in the ground. If I go back again, the ground is kind of oversaturated. The sky is definitely all white. Go back. So that's what it does. And basically, you can choose to have the phone either save um, just the HDR version 
or if you do take an HDR photo, it can save the original and the HDR, which um, I kind of recommend because you can always delete them later. But like here's a picture of my son. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera, but yeah, you can see like his head and his leg, you can kind of see through them. <laughs> so when there's motion in an HDR photo, since it's taking three quick photos, it kind of and has to stitch them all together. It kind of looks messed up. So um, that's obviously not what I would want if I was only taking the HDR version. I would just have a messed up photo. But either way, HDR photography is there. Um, and I'll just take one real quick. As you can see, when you take a photo, it takes a moment to save the HDR version before you can take another. And there. so if I go in, hit the camera roll, you see there at the bottom, I have two versions of the photo. I don't really think it's going to look that different, those two, and it's not. But just wanted to show you how it worked. I've also got TV show rentals in iTunes. We go into iTunes, choose videos. We want TV shows. There's a TV show rentals, and you can go in. Here we go. Let's go to Lost. We've got season six of Lost here. Double tap for more info. And there you see I can rent it for 99 cents or buy it for $3. Uh, so basically, 99 cent TV rentals for supported shows are now part of uh, iOS 4.1. Uh, let's go into the settings real quick. Um, just to show you some other little things that they've got in here. Keyboard, you can go in, you can actually disable um, spell check now. If you don't like spell check, you can turn that off. And the other thing restrictions there you go down at the bottom um, you can now turn off multiplayer gaming so if you don't if you want to keep that uh, restricted on an iOS device they've got that in there under the restrictions area you can turn off multiplayer gaming right in there last thing AT&T carrier profile AT&T 8.0 now we have no clue what changes there but it's obviously supposed to be improvements um, so you know, AT&T doing their thing as well, trying to keep uh, <laughs> keep on top of the iPhone and its success. Um, so we'll see if that helps anything. But that's pretty much it for uh, iOS 4.1 on the iPhone 4. And um, we've gone through all the features. The major ones are probably the HDR photography and Game Center coming to the device, as well as bu the bug fixes that uh, people have been complaining about. But that's pretty much it. Tune in next time for more tech news through the asagearlive.com.